It's become an increasingly common occurrence, sightings of bear, especially in the northwest suburbs. The most recent sightings occurred this month in the Elm Creek Park Reserve. A Three Rivers Park District service officer spotted a mama bear and her two cubs. They were seen in the northwest corner of the park. Last year, a single bear was seen throughout the summer at Elm Creek. Wildlife experts say bear sightings are not uncommon, but they have increased in the last two to three years. The population in general is, is rising, you know, in the state. It's not, it's, there's not a huge increase, but also bears are becoming more comfortable visiting the Twin Cities. So they're, they're more acclimated to humans, and so they're not as afraid. I also think that people are not harassing the bears as much. Moyardi says for the most part, bears are not aggressive unless you come between a mom and her cubs. If you do spot a bear, you should leave it alone, but stand tall, raise your hands, and yell to make it go away. You should also not run away as the bear might chase you. Brooklyn Park Police continue to investigate a shooting that occurred in a strip mall just north of the Crystal Airport. It happened Monday afternoon in the parking lot outside of Fast and Fresh Foods. Police say one person was shot in the leg. As we went to air on Tuesday, police had not made any arrests. This area was of particular concern last summer when there were multiple shootings and the city reported a spike in violent crime. The union representing Brooklyn Center Police says the police reform proposals approved by the city council are not feasible and could potentially violate Minnesota law. Reporter Sonia Goins has more. The union representing Brooklyn Center Police officers say the resolution was rushed and that major stakeholders didn't have any input. It just seemed like the mayor uh, went out on his own accord, drafted this resolution and really didn't do a whole lot of discussion with those that are doing the job. The newly passed resolution would create a community safety and violence prevention office, which would oversee police and fire, as well as two newly created departments, one on traffic enforcement and another on community response. Those two new departments would rely on unarmed professionals to make traffic stops and to respond to mental health calls. Jim Mortensen, executive director of the Law Enforcement Labor Services Union, says he's concerned the city will be using civilians for minor traffic violations. You don't know if they're uh, wanted by the police for something. You don't know if they just committed a crime. Uh, and on top of that, it's, it's in violation of state statute. You have to be a licensed peace officer in this state to make traffic stops. You can't be an unarmed citizen. The Brooklyn Center City Attorney issued a statement saying the mayor's resolution is a framework for further discussion and that anything the council eventually passes would comply with the law. In Brooklyn Center, Sonia Goins, CCX News. The city of Maple Grove, meanwhile, welcomed new officers to its police force. Four new officers were introduced on Monday night. They include Cameron Beeman, Cameron who previously Beeman served with the Minneapolis the Police Department. Program. Officer Beeman also served with the U.S. Army and was deployed to Afghanistan. The other new officers include Megan Levander, Thomas Stowley, and Samuel Ortman. The new hires will put Maple Grove Police at close to full strength. When people think of popcorn, butter, cheese, and caramel are the flavors that usually come to mind. But a Golden Valley man is on a mission to show there's a lot more you can do with those cooked kernels. In this week's edition of Takeout Tuesday, Delane Cleveland introduces us to Redmond's Popcorn Shop in New Hope. The smell, I can always tell when he's here. New Hope's Winnetka Professional Building is home to a number of small businesses. But none are quite like what you'll find in Unit 150B. I'll just get a whiff of some popcorn because it gets that popcorn machine going and it's just like, oh, he's here. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the man responsible for that delectable aroma is Zach Redman. I have probably over 40 flavors. He's the owner of Redman's Popcorn, which opened on February 1st. I'm like a luxury vehicle of popcorn. That's what I say about myself. A lot of people like the cheese pizza. When you look at the available like choices, the you'll quickly discover that these aren't Orville Redenbacher's classic flavors. So this is hot barbecue. This is my sick, like my signature flavor. As you can see, the bin is getting kind of low. Redman is a product of Hennepin Tech's culinary program, and he's concocted dozens of popcorn flavors like strawberry wafer, Butterfinger, and puppy chow, to name a few. I love seeing people reactions. 
So like when they try popcorn, they're like, oh, I didn't think that would work. But then they're like, how did you do it? And I'm just like, I can't tell you. <laughs> it's my little secret. <laughs> it's a hobby that started during the holidays when he made popcorn for family members. I look at popcorn as a, a palate, like a blank palate. I can make it taste like anything. They convinced him to start selling it. And for a while, he did out of the trunk of his car. And I didn't have enough space. I want to be more professional too, so. <laughs> now he has this office suite in New Hope with a customer base that grows by the day. Oh, the banana pudding. I've never had anything quite like that with popcorn. So that was kind of a unique uh, twist on what he's doing. What is it called? The banana wafers, the banana pudding, whichever one? I'm addicted. And I got everybody in my family addicted to it. I even drive to Park Rapids to deliver it to my mom. The double trouble. All great businesses have to start somewhere. And if the positive reviews keep coming in, Redmond is hopeful this culinary endeavor could lead to something big. I can't wait till people see it. And when people see it, I think they're going to be like, yeah, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> In New Hope, he's going to blow up because it's really that good. Delane Cleveland, CCX News.